I'm Krista. I was blessed being guided to this retreat a year ago. It um, was a very subtle set of circumstances that I'm very thrilled that I actually took notice of. A friend of mine is a friend of Irina's on Facebook and her um, vision board program came up. So I did that and uh, did the online uh, Q&A with it. And the, uh, I remember the first comment I put, um, Irina, Irina asked, um, what did we want to manifest? And I just simply put down 100,000 grand in my first year. And that has changed a lot in thought <laughs> over the last year. Um, and Irina showing what my true purpose is and what I really have to offer the world and to my clients and my family. Um, I've wrote a bit of a, a letter out here because as you all may know, I speak rather fast when I get in front of everybody and that, and I didn't want to miss any points. So I um, kind of put this together. So it says here, I'm not the same person I was a year ago. A year ago, I originally thought I came across this vision um, board workshop quite by accident, but now I know it was no accident. I was finally in a place where I was listening to myself taking notice to what was going on around me. My first comment to Arena during a break was that I'm not happy. Now I know the only one that can make me happy is me. Through this spiritual soulful journey, I have learned to magnify my life, to learn who I really am, to rid myself of false beliefs, to love myself. I'm filling the gap of who I thought I was and who I'm allowing myself to be. In deciding on whether or not to invest in this program, in other words, invest on me. I had difficulty with a commitment. I was never comfortable spending money on myself. I was that kind of person, you know, oh, that's a really nice skirt. And I'd pick it up and then I, you know, drop it at the till on the way through and not buy it for myself. Then while speaking with Arena, discussing this program in the Entrepreneurial, in Entrepreneurial Enlightenment Academy, I got a text message saying that a real estate deal of mine was firming up for almost the exact amount of money it, um, to, I needed to invest myself in this program. So there was no um, missing that subtle message. <laughs> One of the blessings that I have gathered through this journey is to recognize the random coincidences as they often have deeper meanings. A year ago at this very workshop, I brought my vision board. On it was the wish of flipping homes with my husband. My husband is a long distance transport driver and he's been on the road since 2002. So I kind of like him home. We've been married 33 years, but of that, I don't know how much we've actually spent it together, but my friend says it's because he's away that we're still married. But anyway, <laughs> um, to be honest, I thought the idea of flipping homes was a far away unrealistic dream, but random circumstances actually started happening almost immediately. In fact, um, so I signed up the first of September within a few days, I received a check in the mail. Um, some RSPs of ours were accidentally cashed. So for that followed by a quick visit to our loans manager, who in turn, I started talking about our dream of flipping houses. So in turn had our house reappraised and we used the, um, the, um, our house to, uh, to um, the, the, um, the evaluation in our house to go towards a flip. And then the RSP money actually got put into a tax free savings account that we get to use to live on while well, my husband's off. He used to be a contractor, by the way. So he's doing the, the building. And so next Friday, our house closes and my husband is now off the road for the, ne I'm gonna cry, for the next six to eight weeks. So very happy with that one. Right. What else? And yeah, so um, I love how all the dots just joined together. Then the crowning glory was the night of me accepting the offer of our flip. I woke up with this, from a sound sleep with a start. And there at the side of my bed was the most brilliant light. <laughs> and uh, it, like, I, I literally sat up. It just startled me so much. And it was, just, it was brilliant. It was just like sparklers going off beside my bed. And I wasn't scared. And it was just a very calming thumbs up sort of feeling that I got from it. So. I went back to sleep thinking, feeling rather calm and okay. And then the next day I got home from work and I'm walking from my car into the house and I walk through my grandfather's cigar smoke. I could just smell it. And he's been gone since I was a teenager. And I felt a warm hug from it. So all these affirmations that we've done the right thing and that my 
dreams of flipping a house with my husband, my husband being home. It was just, it, it was, yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, these events have such a strong support during all of our new goings on, knowing that in all the change of it and everything, that I know we're on the right path. I normally would be biting my nails to the quick, but in listening to what's going on and accepting what's going on, I feel happy. I feel this is the right path, not to be scared. It's all going to work out. <clears throat> After my um, first uh, comment to Rena about not being happy, she immediately zoned in my father. I have spent my whole life trying to live up to what my father, or what I thought my father expected of me. So a fabulous bonus of all this is now I have proof that he believes in me as a realtor. He has offered to help us in the flipping of our house and is very excited about it, even saying this is our adventure. He is just here for the ride. So that's a very big deal. One of the most important gifts Irene has offered me is inducing me to what I really offer my real estate clients. One of my first goals was that money amount that, that was monetary amount I wanted to make in a year's time. I was, only, I was only looking for my business as a way to support myself, but it really is as an opportunity to help people and their families move forward on their journey. And that is my real joy. I have attracted to myself clients that I want to work with and even becoming friends with, developing honest, trustworthy, and fun relationships. I have happily learned that I'm not a sales rep through our uh, strength test, <laughs> but someone who will listen to you, respect you, and your dreams. It has to be a win-win. And that's my consistency there. But today on our walk and throughout our little exercises today, um, I learned that I need to be part of that win-win. And I haven't been putting myself into that ratio. Um, and it's about time I did. So that was my aha today, that I need to be part of the win-win, just not my clients. Uh, so instead of counting commission, I now count up the number of people I have helped along on their paths. My business purpose to enrich those around me, whether it's through my career or otherwise. I was so proud of myself when I helped enough people to meet my quota in the first four months this year, compared with the previous year where it took nine. On my last one-on-one -on -one with Arena, we were discussing my blocking of abundance. We spiritually checked to see if there were any blocks, and then it happened. When the session was complete, I checked my phone. There was a message that led me to firming up a deal that exact same day. Anxiety has, my has been my companion for many of my, um, of my years. <clears throat> I have now learned to translate my feelings better. I no longer feel like an imposter. No longer that 12-year-old that trips over her own words, well, most days. <laughs> Just trying to hide. I dance with my anxiety instead of pushing through it. In recognizing my strengths, which are 100% unique to me, I see my true value. I don't need to prove anything to anybody, as I now stand in my own corner. I am in control of how I feel. Calm Commission. Thank you. <laughs>